Hello, my name is Nicole Brown, and I will briefly be talking about self-regard. Self-regard can simply be defined as regard or consideration for oneself. However, despite the simple definition, it can be often tricky to have a healthy self-regard. This is because too much regard for oneself can be considered overconfident, cocky, or arrogant, or too little regard for oneself can result in anxiety or timidness. Therefore, people have to remain in the mean of extremes of self-regard to have a healthy outlook on oneself. The article that I have chosen to review helps to define what the mean of extremes are when having a healthy self-regard. The article suggests that a complexity and range of personality calls for an assessment in terms of elements and aspects of personality rather than a simplistic assessment of personality as a whole. Therefore, the researchers evaluate different personalities on a continuum using the level of personality functioning scale. The scale breaks down personalities into four levels of self-regard that range from zero meaning little to none regard, or to level four, meaning extreme levels of self-regard. The personality traits that were focused on during the testing were intimacy, identity, self-direction, and empathy. An individual that has an impaired personality function might have a distorted sense of self, trouble pursuing and achieving goals, difficulty expressing empathy, and or struggle to sustain healthy relationships. Ultimately, low self-regard in one's personality functioning predicts the presence of a personality disorder and therefore needs to be assessed. Furthermore, an individual with extreme levels of self-regard could also have a personality disorder that represents pathological personality traits, which will demonstrate characteristics that will lead them to behave or feel certain ways that are generally inflexible and tend to cause significant distress with an individual across situations. One example of a pathological personality that is defined by personality functioning and pathological features is malignant self-regard. Malignant self-regard or MSR is an emerging personality construct derived from self-defeating, depressive, and vulnerable narcissistic personality disorders. For individuals affected by these disorders, they possess a common self-structure or identity that interacts with how they view others and in turn leaves them vulnerable to being influenced by others' opinions. Because people with MSR are vulnerable to other people's opinions, they are often pushed to do well and strive for achievements specifically in the area of academics. Therefore, in the article, researchers chose to find a correlation between academic achievement and personality traits. The study examined functional impairment in relation to MSR as part of a larger study aimed at enhancing overall understanding of the nature of MSR. Functional impairment was defined by academic achievement and achievement striving attitudes as objectively measured by self-reporting GPA, expected GPA, and the achievement of the consciousness domain presented on the five-factor model rating form. The study was performed on over 800 students from different universities that were given an online survey that took exactly 45 minutes to complete. Results showed that self-reported current and expected GPA were significantly and positively correlated with one another, meaning that students that held themselves to a higher expectation performed better academically. Therefore, in the workplace, it is important to hold yourself to a high standard so that you will perform accordingly. The study proved that even though people have different levels of self-regard, they can still perform well at their work. Just like students in the study showed, it is important to hold yourself to a high standard because there are two sides of self-fulfilling prophecies that can affect one in a negative way or a positive way. By eliminating negative self-regard and reinforcing positive self-regard, it allows people to create a positive self-fulfilling prophecy that will create success in their workplace.